my name's Tegan and welcome back to On24 Genius Bar. Now on the last episode I showed you how to create your own webcast. Now we're going to be going on to the registration page. So once you've written all of the details for your webcast, you're going to click create and then it's going to take you to an overview page where you can just look again at what you've put in. As you can see, you've, can, you have your title, your live start time, everything that you previously put in. Then we're going to go all the way to the end and we're going to go to the registration page. Now here you're going to get a couple of details that you need to put in and you can personalize your own registration page. So once this opens, you're going to get registration fields that you can choose from. So you've got first name, last name, email and company, or you can add some personalized ones if you like. I personally like to take out last name as some consumers may not want to reveal their last name. The next thing we've got is options. So you've got enable registration, enable login only option or place in calendar. Now place in calendar is a good option to choose as it notifies the um, audience when your webinar is going to start and they'll be reminded closer to the day. Next, we've got security settings. Now this is, these are optional and you can add in for extra security. And the last bit is customize audience URL. Now this is the link that you will be sharing to your audience through your social medias. So you can personalize an image, what they will see, or you can type in an abstract, anything you'd like, anything random. And then you will type in your vanity tag here, create URL, and that's what you will share to your social media platforms and they will take you to the registration page. Now the next part is the banner. Now the banner will show up at the top of your registration page. This is a great way to not only decorate your registration page, but kind of summarize what your webinar is going to be about. The next part is page design. So you've got four options, carousel, two column or one column, anything you'd like, you can personalize that. Uh, the next bit is promotional summary editor and customize. That is customizing your page design. So writing in anything extras, putting any photos, anything you like, background style, text style, button style, all that. And you can choose to include overview of webcast, speaker bios, maybe if you want to include that or include social sharing icons. And the last bit is the preview. So you can preview your registration page or your lobby page before you go live with it. Uh, previewing this will show you what your audience will see when they click on it. Now you can click on this. If you see there's something you don't like, you can always come back and fix it and same with the lobby page. And once you put in all those details, you're done. And the next part is email notifications, which I'll be showing you in the next episode.